Alright, so Next.js just released uh, Meow. I will call it Meow, even though it's Mau, I don't know. It's a, a pass for hosting Next.js projects. It's amazing because basically you will only have this to manage your hosting solution and you will not have to worry about server management, cluster, if you want to host this on Kubernetes, for example, and so on. You have basically everything you want to create an SGS application and host it somewhere. That somewhere being AWS for now. I hope they will have some kind of uh, integration with other providers in the future. Um, okay, so you have everything basically. You are hosting on AWS, you have your CLI, you have scaling, which is great because I can tell you that in production, Nest application requires scaling, especially if you are serving an API, something like this. Um, you have your load balancer, which goes hand to hand with the scaling, so that's great. You have your databases, you have your task scheduling, great. You have collaboration, okay. And uh, yeah, basically you have a full stack solution to, to, to manage your project and to host it uh, easily if you don't want to get into the DevOps uh, side of things and so on. Um, this makes me think a lot about uh, Laravel Forge, uh, which is basically the same thing, but for Laravel uh, in PHP. We will come back to that uh, in a moment. Um, so yeah, you have basically everything. When you, when you look at the, at the website, the presentation is very clear. You have a very clear uh, value proposition on this. Uh, when you look at the dashboard, um, you have very, very clear, very easy to read documentation even though it's not, I would say, turnkey, because you have some steps to, to, to follow in order to be able to connect this solution to your AWS account, okay? Um, so yeah, basically you have everything explained very clearly here in the documentation inside of the, of the, of the, of the platform. Um, so yeah, I did not create a project on this because I don't have a need for it because I host my next project on uh, Kubernetes uh, in AKS in the AWS. Um, but yeah, this is very easy to use, I would say. And um, yeah, if you want to use this kind of solution, however, to make your life easier, um, I think the setup is not uh, that straightforward because you have to, okay, create an IAM, create a policy, paste the JSON, um, and so on and so forth. So it's not turnkey, but uh, I think it's easier than learning all AWS services required to achieve the same goal uh, as this is uh, providing you, okay? And when you compare this solution to Laravel Forge, um, you can see that the main difference basically is that Forge allows you to host your project uh, wherever you want. So basically you can host it on DigitalOcean, Akamai, Volter, Amazon, Etsner, and more they say. Okay, so this is for me the main difference between Mo and uh, Forge. Um, I hope they will add uh, other providers in the future because um, not everyone want to be on AWS. AWS can get kind of expensive on certain aspects. Um, so yeah, I hope they will add some other solution because basically if you make your next application uh, inside of a Docker container and uh, you can basically just put it on a $5 VPS on digital solutions or, or somewhere and you are good to go. So. I would, I would like to know the difference between hosting this application basically on a $5 droplet on DigitalOcean and host it with this because basically you are already paying at least $12 for, for the hosting. So with $12 a month, you have one application, one database, and uh, everything else is uh, unlimited. And on top of that, you are paying your AWS cost. So if you imagine that you take a smaller EC2 instance on AWS, you are at least at, I would say, 30 bucks a month for, for hosting this application. So pricing-wise, I don't know how that should 
fit into the whole thing, but it's certainly not for amateur projects. Uh, this is targeted at professionals, but if it is targeted at professionals, I would like to make the argument that if you are a professional, you can set up everything yourself on AWS if you want to be on AWS. Otherwise, you want to be hosting somewhere else. And in that case, I would think that this is where really I think it's missing something because if you are targeting professionals who are not comfortable with AWS, you should be able to provide a solution for hosting somewhere else. So this is my main uh, point with this project. When you look at the pricing, basically it's the same pricing as uh, Laravel Forge, $12, $19 and $35. Forge, when you look at the pricing, $12, $19, $39. So basically the same price. However, however, Okay, so you get a 20%, uh, a 10% discount if you pay uh, yearly on this one and no option to pay. Okay, yeah, you have the option here. Okay. Okay, so yeah, basically it's the same price. Okay. Okay, so that's it for Nest.js Mo. Um, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think this is a great project? Will you use it if you are familiar with Nest.js? And uh, yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Ciao.